welcome to mora fc it is worried this is a perfect way this is the right way how to cut the color and stitch it how to cut this vintage color and sew it this is the right way this is a perfect way i'm going to give you all the tips the tricks that you need this is a full tutorial from a to z nothing is hidden nothing is hiding if you look at this thread stitching over here if you look at this place and when i look the wrong side of it this is the wrong side of it you can see how it matches together i'm going to give you all the tips the tricks that you need in achieving this beautiful stuff very, very simple and easy so without wasting much time so let's get started first you need to measure the color the neck you need to measure the neck there's a way of measuring it so i'm going to measure one inch here before i start measuring the neck I need to mark one inch over here mark one inch so this one is going to be our starter line for measuring the neck and i'll go to the other side then i'm going to measure one inch also over there so this one inch also going to be our stopping line for the neck where we're going to measure our line our neck to stop so i'm measuring here from the one inch you can see where I started it from the mark one inch then I'll measure the neck so when I got here the part has opened that part has opened so my one inch was not showing so i need to fold it back then i'll check my one inch then i need to mark my one inch so i need to remeasure it again to get the perfect measurement for the neck you start from the one inch that you mark Then you stop at the one inch at the other side so whatever you get you write it down so you get your fusing gonna draw a straight line over here For the line, I'm going to measure three quarter. So three quarter, three quarter also here. And I'm going to draw my straight line. This fusing is on fold, you need to fold it into two, it's on fold. So you need to measure the back of your shirt, the back of your vintage shirt. So whatever you're gonna get, you're gonna divide it by two, then you mark it over here. Before doing it, I should have measured the neck here first but i didn't do that as a mistake i'll correct it here so i'm measuring one and a half here this one and a half is this point you can see the neck at this part i want that part to be one and a half i want it to be one and a half so that it will be more than this part so when i fold it this way it's going to be half inch longer than this one to understand so if you want it to be one inch equal you can do that and if you want it to be more than that you can also add it up to it so i have one and a half here one inch and i have one and a half also here i hope you understood so when i fold it the color will be half inch long
because I did a mistake here then I'm gonna I will correct that so pay attention here there's a mistake here that I did and I have to correct that so you can sketch it or call you if you have a French curve you can, or can use your hand if you have a rule you can do that and you just blend it in very nicely So from here, this is where I noticed that I didn't measure the neck. I have I have to measure the neck here. So it's more than that. It's more than the neck measurement that I'm working on. So I've measured the neck. So this is where the neck is going to be. So from this line, this is where the line is going to be. Then I'll go on top. Then I'll mark my one and a half inch as I did earlier. Then I'll connect it again. So this part was the wrong side. You know, I didn't. I should have. I should have started this way. I should have measured the neck. So you can sketch it, or you can use your French curve or any curve that you have just to blend it in. So you can see, I have my one and a half inch here. You know, I have my one and a half inch here. So from here, you need to measure the neck also. If it's 17, you need to measure it divided by 2 if it's 18 you divide it by 2 if it's 16 you divide it by 2 so you need to measure your neck over here so you can see when you give it a curve it will add it up like a quarter of an inch or 2.2 .2 inside so you can see so i blend from here that's the size of the neck so from here at this point i just blend in quarter of an inch you just have to blend in you can cut it straight away you can cut it straight if you want you can cut it straight and if you like you can just blend in quarter of an inch just like that so you can leave it three inches or three quarter of an inch is also okay So you need to trim it i'm just trimming some part of i want to make it three inches you can make it three and quarter make it three and quarter you know i'm doing this one it's not an elderly person that's why i'm making it three inches so an elderly person make it three and quarter you know make it three and quarter so i have my three inches here So like I said, you can cut it straight away if you want. You can cut it straight, and if you want, you can just blend in. So let's check it out and see. So it can be cut off an inch, it can be half of an inch. Then you blend in a little bit. Please give me a thumbs up, like and share. Share, she says sharing is caring. You know, give me a thumbs up, like and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Mora FC. I post videos every one of these and Saturday. New tutorial, new star, new tutorial, new star every one of these and Saturdays. Please do all and share it for other people to see it, for other people to see it, uh, to benefit from it. As you are benefiting it make sure that like, some people also benefit from it as well so you share you tell a friend to tell a friend about more ifc you should come and learn and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and give me a thumbs up so we have it like this so i'm gonna trim here a little bit and leave like half inch and you trim this part also
so you need to mark this part you know mark this part because of the fusing that is where the neck measurement start you check then you mark so that when you are stitching that part you know exactly the right part to stitch this is what i'm going to do right now is also important you pay attention also this tutorial is full of tricks and tips that i'm giving you or if you mix before you jump any steps you have missed some great tips that it will help you a lot i'm telling you so don't stick don't skip nowhere just watch to the end you to you know take a pen or anything or pencil you just have to trace this part it's very important you trace this part you can see i folded a half inch and this part i'm tracing it then after that you trim half inch it's gonna depend how you're gonna stitch it how you're gonna sew it if like you're gonna sew half inch or quarter of an inch that means if it's quarter of an inch you need to leave quarter of an inch if it's half inch you're gonna stitch you need to leave half inch of stitching do you understand so we're gonna have beautiful like this you can see very very simple and easy so we're gonna close this part like this the right side will face each other then you make sure that you're fusing this point is also important then i'm gonna stitch here straight away to the end and i'm gonna do the same thing to this part also stitch it to the end so let me do that and come back let me do that and cut this is very simple so let me do that and come back so that we'll move on to the next level so i've done that and uh, you can see i need to trim this part off then you do the same thing to this part so this is going to be after you have joined it together do you understand after you have stitched it together you have sewed it together then you can see that then we're going to flip it over your screwdriver you can use your scissor or your screwdriver to point at that point you know so that it come out beautifully you can see then you press it so after press you need to check and see and you have to trace it again if it falls exactly on the tracing part then you are okay if it didn't fall you need to retrace it again so that you get the right path so going to the sewing machine we have this one you can see before we start we need to leave one inch remember when we are measuring we left one inch before measuring the neck to understand we left one inch so you need to mark one inch then we're gonna sew at that part remember when we are measuring the neck measurement we left one inch from the beginning before we take our measurement and we left one inch at the end also where we're gonna stop so this is the way we're going to do the same thing here to understand you're going to sew one inch first then i'll come to this side also we're going to open and flip it the five and a half inch that were left you're going to open it then you flip it i don't know how much you left though whatever you do so we're going to mark one inch also here then we're gonna sew half inch. If I deal with quarter of an inch, if you're stitching, you always stitch quarter of an inch. You need to stitch here quarter of an inch. And if you are stitching, and if you are sewing half inch, then you have to, you know, sew and half inch or so over there. So you need to trim this part off. Then you make a notch here. Be careful when you are cutting. Don't cut through the thread. You know when I was making a notch here. Uh, I did cut through the thread so I need to you know 
so on top again i think this one this was the one that i did cut through the thread and i have to so so when you are doing it you need to pay attention you need to be very careful you see i just cut through the thread so i need to sew on top again so make sure you don't do this mistake that i did so when you're cutting that part you need to be very very careful when they're doing that part so i need to sew on top again more ifc it is what it is tell a friend tell a friend about more ifc. guys give me a thumbs up like share comment follow me on my facebook it's more ifc instagram all right so we're gonna flip it inward like this so this one inch you flip it inward like this you use your scissor or your screwdriver or any something anything that have a pointed you know you just have to use it to pull the edges right and we're gonna flip this part also so we're gonna have something like this as you see so we pull this one back you know we join it to the shoulder what is left this one we are going to rejoin it to the shoulder as well so that you hold it down you're gonna do the same thing do the same thing to the other side guys give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up like share and comment click on notification bell i'll post videos every one is this and saturday do new tutorial new styles every one is this so we're gonna have something beautiful like this this is what we're gonna have have you seen it this is how it's supposed to be so this is the color we have to put the color on it so i need to fold the color into two then i'll make i'll make a notch at the center scene Also, do the same thing with a t shirt, uh, your vintage shirt. You just have to make match the center. See, so we're gonna show from the right side of the fabric. We're gonna start it from the right side of the fabric. So we have our line already drawn over there. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna stitch right on top of the line that we made. And if you want the best way, you just have to come in like uh 0 0.1 inward to understand yeah so when you are stitching this one you make sure you stitch you see that you stitch exactly on the line that you made or you come in what inward inside the color like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 so if you can see it clear you can see i'm not actually stitching on top of the line exactly so i've done half of it i just turned my camera to complete with the half i just want you to see that's why i flip it the camera to this side so after i join the other side i need to flip the camera back to where it was So we're done you can see this is how it's going to be i'm making notches over there more ifc it is over telephone 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 about more ifc so let me flip the camera to where it should be and just flip it back like this you can see it's going to be something like this so now we are about to top stitch it you know you need to pull everything in so you need to take your time here then you have to pull everything inward then you have to top stitch at that part the most important thing is that is the one that will just join you know when we are joining the collar we did stitch first one so 
you pay attention to the line that shows the line that shows you make sure when you're putting this one when you come to this side when you're top stitching make sure that the tips have to cross that line a little bit before you top stitch to understand so when you do that it will actually transfer to the other side and you get it right i hope you understood when we stitch the first one after turning it over like this one you're going to see that there's a line that shows that line is supposed to be your guide to understand so don't put this one exactly on the line you need to shape it more than the line to understand not inward or outwards you know just push it outwards so that you top stitch so when you do that you're gonna get a perfect done one time stitching you know if you didn't get it right you have to try it again now some will do it and you won't get it right you know the lines you're going to not going to fall on it exactly as you want this line you know obviously this is the part that we stitch when we turn it you can see that we did we got exactly what we needed it's supposed to be like this one so, so sometimes people will show it and to not get exactly on the line that you are looking for it's not going to look beautiful what i have seen it is what it is you know if you want to say hi to me you want to say hi to me just link me up on my facebook is more ifc my whatsapp line is there then you just push it down so we can do top stitching over here you just go around it top stitch you can you can either you can leave it this way you can leave it this way or you can just do top stitch on the top of it and you just go so let me do the top stitch Like I said, if you want to say hi to me, if you want to say hi to me, you can follow me on my Facebook, Mora Ives, and link me up. You know, just say hi to me or if you want me to, you know, you know, here is what it is. <laughs> so we are not done yet. There's something also I want to teach you. Like I said, if you jump a step, you have to jump a tip some tip that will help you to understand so after here don't think that we have done i need to go to the iron board you know to iron it and teach you how to iron it there's a way of ironing you just you can't just fold it and iron it anyhow that you want to understand so let me show you here You need to fix your shirt like this one then you iron on it you know you just give it a nice iron and now you flip the neck you just fold it you can see i'm arranging everything make sure you fold the colors and make sure everything i have not ironed the color yet and i have not ironed the color yet so don't rush and iron the color the color yet you know you just have to check here here you need to check your measurement you make sure that whatever we get here maybe if you have two inches or three inches over there you're supposed to get the same thing on this side also so both of them have to be the same thing do you understand before you put an iron on it right now i've not put an iron on it if you give it an iron that's the final thing of that part you know that's the final thing of that part so you just have to check your measurement before putting an iron on it and you're going to come smooth you can see I'm just checking this part you can see here and everything is right i see we've done it's more ifc it is what it is tell a friend 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 it's more ifc link me up on my whatsapp it's more ifc hey tiktok i'm almost there i also there Charlie. follow me everywhere okay every platform is more ifc guys show love you know it is what it is god bless everybody thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting Keep on supporting the movement of Mora FC. It is what it is. So I have so much stars. I have so much thing to teach you guys. We have not.